Disclaimer. Paano gumawa ng user ID at password sa SSS online? Punta lang tayo sa ating browser. Search box, search lang natin ng sss.gov.ph Then click natin itong social security system. Then click natin itong member. Next is, click natin itong register. Then lalabas itong reminders. Basahin lang ninyo yan. Pag okay na, check lang natin itong box dito sa baba. I certify that I have read and understood the, the foregoing reminders on SS web registration. Then click proceed. Dito kailangan natin fill up pan itong mga hinihingi na information. So first dito muna tayo sa my SSS number. Lagay lang natin ang ating SSS number. Next is ang ating email address. Dito, lagay lang natin. Next is confirm email address. Ito. Copy lang natin itong nasa itaas. At siguro din lang natin na active itong email address natin dahil magsiset si SSS dito ng email pagkatapos. Next is preferred user ID. Copy lang natin yan. Then next is confirm prepaid user ID. Paste lang natin dito. Next is ang ating last name. Given name o ating pangalan. Middle name. In suffix. Kung meron. Type lang natin dito. Limbawa, De La Cruz. Dito sa first name, 1. Sa middle name, Santiago, for example. Then suffix dito kung meron, kung wala naman. Ayan yun ang bakante yan. Next is ang ating date of birth dito. Click lang natin yan. Then, click natin muna itong year. Nambawa, 1996. Tapos month. March. Tapos ang day. Then, may lalabas na confirmation. Ganito, you are 26 years old based on your date of birth that you entered. Then, click lang natin itong Okay, next is sa ating mailing address. Nagay lang natin dito kung may floor unit, house, lot, and block number kung meron. Yung street, subdivision kung meron. Kung wala naman, ayan nyo na. Then click nyo lang dito kung Metro Manila ba o asa probinsya. Halimbawa ko, province, check lang natin yan. Then, next is province name. Click lang natin itong select province. Select lang natin kung anong province. Halimbawa, akin, Pangasinan. Then, city. Select city. Halimbawa is Sumingan. Then, dito sa mailing address, select lang natin itong country. Select lang natin ang Philippines. 
Lapit lang natin sa letter P. Select. Tapos dito sa registration preference. Select 1. Click lang natin yan. Para makaregister tayo ng user ID and password sa SSS, dapat isa mga info na ito ang meron tayo. Kasi kung wala, hindi tayo makakapag-register. So example itong savings account, UMID ATM savings account number, registered in SSS. Kung alam nyo yung account number na yun, pwede pong gamitin yun as registration preference. At kung may mobile number kayong niregister sa SSS, pwede rin yun basta active pa po yung number gaya ng akin. Kaya ito ang iseselect ko. Kung meron kayong UMID card, pwede rin gamitin. At yung PIN code ng UMID ninyo, yung ilalagay ninyo sa registration reference box. Kung voluntary, self-employed o OFW ko at kayo mismo yung nagbabayad ng inyong contribution, pwede nyo i-select itong paid payment reference number para yung PRN number ng resibo ninyo ang itatype ninyo sa registration reference. So, bahala na kayo mamili dyan. Binigay ko lang yung madaling option. So, ako isi-select ko lang tong mobile number registered in SSS. And dito, type lang natin ang ating mobile number registered in SSS. So, siguraduhin lang natin na active pa yung number na yun. Kasi magsisend ng message si SSS sa number na yan. So, pag okay na, click lang natin tong I am not a robot. Then, I accept the terms of service. Ito. Check lang natin yan. Then, click submit. And dito, lalabas tong confirmation page. Check nyo lang kung tama lahat. Pag okay na, click lang natin tong confirm. Then, after that, you have successfully submitted your SSS web account registration application. Kindly check your email for the system notification. Thank you. So, dito, next is, click lang natin itong OK. Then, mag-email si SSS. Check lang natin. So, dito, nakalagay is, please activate your My SSS member account and provide your preferred password by clicking here. So, click lang natin yan. Then, dito, to activate your SSS account, and nominate your prepared password, please provide the last 6 digits of your SSS numbers. So ilagay lang natin dito yung ating last 6 digits number nung ng ating SSS number. Pag okay na, click lang natin tong submit. Dito ilagay lang natin ang prepared password. Dapat minimum of 8 and maximum to 20 alphanumeric characters ang kailangan. Then, confirm preferred password. Then, click submit. So, dito, kailangan natin mag-set up ng security question. Click lang natin itong set up security questions. So, itong dalawang security question na to, magagamit natin to kapag nakalimutan natin kung sakali ang ating password. So, click lang natin to. So, dito, pipili lang tayo ng security questions. Make sure na ang isi-select natin ay yung alam na alam natin ang sagot. Dahil kung sakaling nakalimutan natin ang ating password, itong ibibigay na question ni SSS. So, i-select nyo lang yung kung gusto ninyong question. Pag okay na, nasagutan nyo na itong dalawang to. Then, click submit. Then, next is, dito, help us verify your account. Please enter your password. Enter lang natin ang password. Then, click natin itong I am not a robot. Then, confirm. So, ayun na. The security questions were successfully set up. So, click lang natin tong go to home. Then, mariridirect na tayo sa ating SSS account. Then, click lang natin tong maybe next time. Then, ayun na. Open na natin ang ating SSS account. So, dito pwede nyo nang i-check ang inyong contribution or anything. 